Have you ever wondered what if NASCAR had standing starts? Probably not, but I have. We're gonna try that out today. Okay, we are on track. I'm running this like 2021 mod with the classic stock car, by the way. Um, I'll put the mod link in the description as we get underway. We're at Watkins Glen for the first attempt of a NASCAR standing start here. I'm running as Daniel Suarez, as you guys know, my favorite driver in the Cup Series. Three wide into turn one. I'm breaking a little bit deep, and you know what? That worked out really, really well because we're going for the lead. I have the grid start, by the way, on uh, random. So we're just doing like little sprints at a couple of tracks here today just to kind of get an idea of what standing starts could be like. Oh, this controller is really twitchy on R Factor too. So you got to be really, really careful. But you know what? So far, so good as Ricky Stenos Jr. is going to be my break. Oh my God. Curb. There's a curb there. That was dangerous. We're gonna save it. I think it's a disaster behind us. They're crashing. I saw the 14 going around. I'm still hanging on for dear life. I'm slamming into somebody. I don't even know. I think it's a Rick Ware racing car. Oh my god. That is a Rick Ware racing car. Who is that? James Davison maybe? We're closing in on Ryan Newman into the bus stop. I don't know where to brake properly here, but this car is is something else through here. Oh my goodness. I need to adjust, I think, the uh, controller settings just to say the least. Okay, starting in the middle of the pack in Coda. We only got 32 cars in this one as we get underway. Watkins Glen was interesting to say the least. I've kind of messed with my controller settings, so hopefully that helps a little bit. This is like the best we can do with the sensitivity, but standing starts allows me to do exactly that right there. Don't mind if I just send it off in there, and I am so sorry, Michael McDowell, but you know what? That's just the pure joy of standing starts and what they can produce right there. Alex Bowman is going to another planet in front of me. Oh, we are... Everybody's just stomping on the brakes. And who is this? Is that Josh Balicki? What are you doing? Get out of here. We're getting physical here. These standing starts, you know, it keeps everybody really, really close. And I'm just going to cruise right on through. Don't mind if I do. Wow, these guys are not too hard to beat here in Kodas. I'm just going to give the bumper to the 66. Who's leading? That's... That's Quinn Health. Set up that three for a pump and run here. Don't mind if I do. Out of my way. That was... all. Oh. oh, I could did not get any better than that. I will see you later, Austin Dillon. Um... That might have been my fault. I gotta say, as we are driving away right here, uh, through the S's, the more I play this game, uh, after playing NASCAR 21 Ignition, the more... I see, like, and feel how much NASCAR 21 Ignition drives, like, our factor 2 in terms of how the car, like, slides around under throttle on some of these corners here. Uh, it feels exactly like NASCAR 21 Ignition. So we're gonna try doing a standing start on an oval. I mean, we got plenty of ovals to try this. I don't even know. Oh, it's lights out. Um... You know, I can see this being an issue for some drivers already, is if they start on the banking, they're not going to get going. We might need to try that again. Okay, so we got to be very delicate. Here they go, there they go, there they go. Okay, very, very calm, very cool, very collected. Everyone's having a tough time, but I am having a, you know, a very tough time here getting this thing going. But now we're into fourth gear, and oh my god, oh my god, it does not turn goodness gracious this car drives terrible My well the ai were about 100 miles an hour faster than me it felt like but we crossed the line and finished and uh maybe bristol might not be the smartest track to do a standing start based off of the grip levels starting on the banking in a corner so uh we might be able to write that one off 1966 monaco you're up to bat standing start nascar this already looks um, intimidating to say the least here as I don't know how these AI are going to drive in a turn one bubble wall on my right hand side I'm just gonna give everybody a little bit of breathing space here as I'm gonna plow right into the back of Eric Jones moments later after I say that but oh pace cars over there I'm on a sidewalk I am in a concrete wall I see water I have a fear of water so we stay away from water and someone is having a bit of a moment up there and you know what I think everybody's having a bit of a moment here. Oh my god, Brendan Gone is on top of Ryan Blaney. I just drove under him. So standing starts Monaco NASCAR. Might not be the smartest of ideas I've ever seen here. Let's continue this race and go for a lap or two. See what happens on this opening lap of a Monaco standing start. Blaney just sailed it off in there. 
I'm right on the back of Logano. You don't want to go too wide into here, so I'm going to take it three wide and you know just plow my way through. Who's turning me? You got to be kidding me. I have no words. Okay, we're going to give that uh, one more shot at Monaco because that was uh, pretty interesting. I think the craziest one so far. I'm coming through. Sorry, Bubba. I'm going to just send one up the inside again here and uh, hope that it works out. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Three wide with Harvick. Don't spin out here. We're three wide. We're three wide. Kevin Harvick, I'm so sorry. Not really, but oh my god, what is going on up here? Don't mind if I do. That was certainly, uh, someone just sent a street sign flying, so uh, might have been the 14 of Briscoe, as you know what, we're making a lot of ground up, a lot cleaner of a start, actually, um, as uh, someone has sent a hay bale flying into the corner, there's a race with that now, and there, oh my god, I'm gonna hit it, and I did a bit of a slide job there, Monaco slide job, never thought I'd be saying that, as I'm racing very aggressive, as you guys can tell, but that's perfectly okay, so... Uh, we're going to go around the number 78, get to the back, give the 8 a bit of a bump and run here. Good move, clean, into the tunnel here, as we got to be careful through here. Oh boy, okay, and this is a really sketchy chicane, this is not like current Monaco, obviously, so. This time, we make it as, oh, that was scary, as, uh, oh no, oh my god, oh my god, that was a violent, violent accident. As everybody's piling in, Logano's in there, Quinn House in there, Shocker there. Okay, we're trying this at a mile and a half track. This is Chicago. It might not look like Chicago. That might look like a Chicago wall. Oh my goodness. The grip is is next level bad here. As we're three wide in the middle, and with this handling, it's not meant for ovals. So um, it's pretty weird, as you can see. We go from Barely able, blah, 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 barely able to not crash because the car is trying to turn like crazy to not being able to turn in the actual corner. But you know, nonetheless, it was a nice clean start. And that's what we're here to find out is can we have clean standing starts as, oh my, this is atrociously bad to drive. And we come through to finish. Very cool. So we've done two ovals so far and... They're terrible for standing starts, so NASCAR, I do not recommend standing starts when it comes to oval racing, but when it comes to these road courses, they can get pretty wild. We're here in Monza. What if NASCAR did Monza on this very, very long straightaway here now as I am going to completely miss the braking zone. Oh my goodness. And that's just how you take the lead in a strategic manner as they are still having a bit of issues back there, and I will see you guys later. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As uh, I, I didn't, I was thinking I'm in F1 and uh, I can break away later, and then I'm like, wait a minute, I cannot. Ryan Priest is all over my back bumper as I'm breaking pretty early this time. Sausage curbs, I am up and over. I am barrel rolling <laughs> into the catch fence. Okay, we are here. Indianapolis road course. NASCAR in real life had a very, very fascinating, let's just call it that, race um, towards the end of that thing. And now we're going to get underway with a standing start in the Indianapolis road course. I, I like these because you can just kind of lick the stamp and send it. Although I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be nice, calm, cool, and collected. And look at that. Everybody had a nice, clean start. As I feel like in real life NASCAR, a, a standing start would be a complete disaster just about everywhere. Um, speaking of disaster, we got guys going off the track everywhere. Matt Benedetto, he cut me off again. I'm going to clean you right out. Oh my goodness. Everybody's having issues through here. Oh my god. Oh, Eric Jones, you did not need a car, did you? He's okay. He's still going in the right direction. Alex Bowman, uh, track's over here. Oh, <laughs> you found the track and you found me too. And I found the grass. And I'm okay. I'm just somewhat curious if this is like NASCAR ignition and I can just completely cut through here. Don't mind if I do. In NASCAR ignition, they will not penalize you for this. I think. <laughs> See you later, Eric Almorola. We just won. We just won. They didn't penalize me for that. Unbelievable. We're at a Formula E track with NASCAR in New York City for the New York City E-Prix in 2021 as um, 
I don't know how this goes because it seems like a quite tight circuit so far and oh baby okay it's slow and you know what so far so clean everybody's hitting that wall Kyle Larson there just in front of us and uh, oh my goodness where did Corey LaJoy decide he was gonna come from he's he's gonna put me in the wall oh god Oh my goodness. I don't think it matters what kind of start you have here. Rolling, standing for NASCAR would be a complete disaster nonetheless. But uh, Corey LaJoy getting physical as... Oh, it's a complete stack up here. Oh, what is going on? Who is that? That's Why is it always Quinn Howe? I think that was uh, Briscoe as well there with him as... We are at least in 11. We're only in 11? Really? Oh, I think we might be having more issues here. Maybe not. Oh, splendid corner right there. Use that wall. Slap it with the quarter panel. Send one up the inside. That's Kyle Larson. And that's just how you pass cleanly at uh, the New York City e -Pre. Uh Oh, no. We have another stack up. Eric Almorola. He's up and over just about. He's on top. Oh, Hamlin's going to pile in. Unbelievable. This is a really fascinating like final set of corners, but... There we go. We crossed the line and we finished fourth after a, a nice standing start as Code Wear better watch out. Oh my goodness. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so there we have it there with some NASCAR standing starts at uh, some NASCAR tracks, some just international tracks as well. And uh, it went surprisingly better at some tracks and then quite as bad as I expected at some as well. Um, would you like to see standing starts in NASCAR? Let me know. I certainly would love for it on road courses. I don't think ovals would work so well and I think R Factor 2 certainly proved that. But uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.